This episode of WISBusiness.com, the show, is brought to you by Grant Thornton, White Hirschbeck Dudek, Madison Gas and Electric, and the University of Wisconsin at Milwaukee. Hi, I'm Liz Schrump for the Wisconsin Technology Council, here with WISBusiness.com, the show. Coming up in his commentary, Tom Still talks about the Entrepreneur's Toolkit and we'll look at rising gasoline prices with the president of the Wisconsin Petroleum Marketers and Convenience Store Association. First, here's the wispbusiness.com stock report for mid-April. Rising, Milwaukee Air. The US EPA notifies state officials the Milwaukee metro area meets stricter federal guidelines for ozone levels. The EPA says the improvement in the region's smog levels is due to cleaner vehicles, emissions testing, reformulated gas, and stricter control of smokestacks. Observers say the classification will ease restrictions on local factories and remove the stigma of the pollution from the area's economy. And falling, unemployment benefits. More than 7,700 Wisconsinites receiving extended unemployment benefits from the federal government will see those payments end this week. Under federal guidelines, the state's unemployment rate had enabled qualified applicants to receive 13 extra weeks of payments. But when Wisconsin's three-month unemployment rate average dropped to 7% in February, Federal officials inform the state the extra payments would end on April 7th. That's the WISBusiness.com stock report. Go to WISBusiness.com for more on these and other stories. Tom Still is next with his Inside Wisconsin commentary. What has made Grant Thornton one of the largest accounting organizations in the world with resources in more than 100 countries worldwide? Is it their global capabilities or is it their passion for how they serve their clients? Grant Thornton. You've been thinking about starting your own company for quite a while. In fact, the ideas you've jotted down on your laptop are haunting you each night as you wonder, what if someone else does this first? The Entrepreneur's Toolkit may be your first step toward carrying out your idea and sleeping a bit more soundly knowing you're not missing your own opportunity. The Toolkit is a soup to nuts guide for Wisconsin entrepreneurs, especially those with tech-based ideas, as they undertake the hard but exciting work of turning their dreams into reality. Produced by the Wisconsin Technology Council in partnership with the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation, the toolkit is designed to give innovators a pathway to resources available in the state and beyond. The existence of an entrepreneurial ecosystem in Wisconsin isn't necessarily well known, even inside our borders. But its growth over the past decade is a major reason why the state is steadily gaining a reputation for being friendly to startups. The toolkit itself speaks to that emerging culture. It walks entrepreneurs through a range of resources, starting with online quizzes that help people answer the core question of whether they're actually suited for starting, financing, running, and quite often, selling a startup venture. The toolkit invites entrepreneurs to learn more about Wisconsin, including its history of innovation. Entrepreneurs can also learn about a variety of business assistance programs, how to write a business plan, how to choose a business structure, where to find help with marketing and feasibility studies, and how to find a mentor. The toolkit's Finding Money section outlines the basics of qualifying for credit, of selecting a financial institution that can help, and the basics of pursuing private equity investments such as angel or venture capital. It also outlines some of the grant, loan, and tax credit possibilities available through state, federal, and local sources. Because Wisconsin's economy has distinct regional differences, the Locating Your Business tab provides specific information on sites, local business incubators and accelerators, and the basics of running a business out of your home. The Education and Technology Transfer section gives tips on how to work with colleges and universities, how to get more training and specific advice, and how to go about patenting and licensing your idea. The toolkit also contains information on networking organizations, resources for women and minority business owners, tips on selling to the government, resources for selling overseas, and more. Wisconsin has a strong tradition of entrepreneurship. Today, a new generation of entrepreneurs and their partners are helping to build Wisconsin's 21st century knowledge economy on a solid foundation that has long included expertise in manufacturing, agriculture, medicine, and more. With the help of the Entrepreneur's Toolkit, Perhaps the next iconic Wisconsin startup will be your own.
Thanks, Tom. Matt Hauser, president of the Wisconsin Petroleum Marketers and Convenience Store Association, is next. White Hirschbeck Dudek represents companies at all stages of development and in a wide range of industries to navigate the legal challenges of regional, national, and global growth. At WHD, every stage takes center stage. I'm back with Matt Hauser, president of the Wisconsin Petroleum Marketers and Convenience Store Association. Thanks for being here, Matt. Glad to be here, Liz. Who are the members of the association and what are their goals? WPMCA represents over 500 members. Our members own convenience stores and supply petroleum products throughout the state of Wisconsin and the upper Midwest. We represent the interests of all gas station owners. There are nearly 3,000 in the state of Wisconsin. The vast majority are independently owned and operated, and many are single store operations. National gasoline prices appear to be hovering just under $4 per gallon for regular gas. Is Wisconsin above or below the U.S. average, and why? Liz, we're all frustrated by the rising price of gasoline. But fortunately, Wisconsin is consistently at or below the national average price. We do have our challenges, though. Our state gas tax is higher than surrounding states, and the EPA requires that a special blend of fuel is used in six counties in southeastern Wisconsin. It may be time for, EPA, for the EPA to modify the reformulated gas requirements to take into account cleaner burning fuels and stricter vehicle emission standards. That's the one thing we could do that could impact the price of gas. And what are the top three reasons we're seeing higher prices today? The top three reasons we're seeing higher prices re relate directly to global oil demand, record crude oil prices, and excessive speculation due to tensions in the Middle East. Thanks, Matt, and thank you for watching this edition of Wispensis.com, the show. The show is produced by Wispensis.com and the Wisconsin Technology Council and sponsored by Grant Thornton, White Hirschbeck Dudek, MG&E, and UW-Milwaukee. Visit our websites to read and learn more. I'm Liz Shrum of Talentfoot Executive Search. See you next time.